Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome back to Let's Read with Tony. Uh, today we're going to be reading uh, a PlayStation magazine. I don't believe we've done a PlayStation magazine on my channel yet. Um, I picked this up yesterday in Super Tomato in Cardiff. Um, shout out Tom. The uh, This is from, I believe, doesn't say on the cover, as October... I believe it's 1996 based on the this speed kills advert in here so it's 1996 so yeah october uh oh issue number one is it oh tidy uh what's cool about this magazine just looking at the cover uh it's got first screenshots of final fantasy 7 so i'm playing that at the moment uh anything with a fighting game or anything related i just pick it up if it's something on the cover so I'm excited to see what it's got about Street Fighter Zero Two, or as it's known over here, Street Fighter Alpha Two. You've got a Tobal Number One. I think that's a fighting game. Memory serves. Uh, MK Trilogy. Looking forward to seeing that. Final Doom as well. I think these are previews. I've had a quick flick through, and it looks like there's more previews than reviews. But hey ho. Um, a free 52-page tech and player's guide. I don't think that's in here, but uh, never mind. Never mind. It's a very old magazine. Uh, well over 20 years old. So let's have a look, shall we? So, opens up. All these magazines open up with um, a cool advert, you know. Uh, so shows. This is a better advert. Some of these don't even show any gameplay. So catches your attention. And uh, it's got screenshots. It's always important, in my opinion, that you show some game, at least one picture or two pictures. Uh, so this was out on the PlayStation and the Saturn and the PC. Uh, Tunnel B1. Speed Kills. I think it's called Speed Kills. I don't know. Never heard of it. All right, let's have a look what's inside then. No, this isn't in here. Damn it. Get it. This is the Tekken 2 thing they must have been on about on the cover. So you've got Final Fantasy 7 is in here. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Uh, ah, right. Here it is. Sorry. Right. So we got reviews. Bubble Bobble. Davis Cup Tennis. I remember that being a terrible game. Regent Skies. Tabal number one. Okay. This is, that is a fighting game, isn't it? Tabal. Yeah. Tabal 3D fighting game. Uh, most fighting games in this era were... Uh, 3d but i love the fact that uh, capcom were brave enough and uh, strong enough to stick with uh, the tried and tested format which uh, after time proves uh, proves they were doing the right thing in my opinion and then all right so there's the reviews there's the previews okay so you've got final doom final fantasy 7 incredible hulk mortal kombat trilogy street race uh, tomb raider okay cool let's have a look i like in the the alpha or zero artwork they got there oh yeah nice write up of a capcom one of my favorite franchises all the time um, oh look at that look at that is that the ex games cap and move into 3d in a big way these are arcade shots of the first street fighter game to be produced in 3d chen li and zangief yeah i'm going to be doing these games on my uh on my channel that's the, I might might do one today. I might dig out uh, the PS2 and play some PS2 and PS1 games, you know, on my Around the World in 80 Games. Uh, then you got Street Fighter Double Trouble. Oh, Street Fighter vs. X-Men. Lucky enough to have that in my collection as well. Oh, wow. Star Gladiator. Picked this up yesterday. Ah, I'm well happy with this. I picked it up just because it had Capcom on it, and obviously it's a fighting game. Uh, Alright, this is just, just announced then. It's amazing, and it's on its way to PlayStation. Yep, first shot of Capcom's first venture into the dazzling world of 3D beat-em-ups has emerged through the gaming grapevine. Uh, or the Tokyo Game Show. Uh, an exact version of the coin-ops star Gladiator Rushes you into the 24th century to the planet Zeta. Oh, my favourite planet, Zeta. Uh, went down all days just before COVID. Anyway, uh, the plot centres around the Earth Federation's mission to locate a group of beings 
who want to utilize the deadly plasma weapon. The rest is pure fisticuffs. Look out for a massive preview in our next issue. Ah, right. I need to track that issue down. I'd love to like read up about it, get hyped, you know, get back my my Tony's brain back into uh, the nineties, then play it. Ah, oh, that'd be awesome. That would. Oh, I can't believe that game's in this magazine. And I picked the magazine up yesterday and I picked the game up yesterday. Cool. Cool beans. Let's have another look. Twix. I've been running them for about uh, 39 years, give or take. Uh, HMV charts. Oh, yeah, they used to do games. I think they stopped doing games only a couple of years ago. I'm pretty sure I got GTA 5 in there for the PS3 when it first came out. Oh, anyway, uh, right, what have we got? Alien Trilogy, uh, RR Revolution Track and Field, wow, Namco, Olympic Games, ah, there must have been uh, Olympics or some big sporting event on this year, Need for Speed, Fade to Black, oh, Street Fighter Alpha is number 10, baby, go on, Street Fighter, uh, what's this, Jerry uh, wants Fun times left. All oh, right, okay. So the new future games coming out. Uh, Iron and Blood doesn't look nothing. Oh, Zero Divide. I've heard of that. Iron Bear Jam Extreme. Oh, that's the one when they had those crazy big heads. Uh, no monster tracks. I haven't heard of many of these games. Play a pen. Oh, wow. Free. Zero divide game worth £44.99. That's the other game I picked up yesterday. Fucking hell, they're giving it away free. That's a bad sign, actually, that is, isn't it? You know, if a game's selling, if it's a successful game. There wasn't many fucking Street Fighter games from uh, the 90s getting given away free when you subscribe to a magazine, was there? So that's probably not the best uh, sign, I'm not going to lie. Oh, here we go. Yes, right, so. Oh, brilliant, and they do his character. Please say these couple of pages, yes. Okay, so here comes a new challenger. Have you got Sakura, Zangief, Jen, Tulsi, Molento? Oh, yes. Oh, now, I, obviously, I love Capcom, okay? Uh, but I don't like what they've done with Birdie. Like, look at him there. This is Birdie at his peak, okay? Um, I know he was a little bit broken in Alpha 1, but um, still a tough character to master. Birdie has had a few alterations, including thankfully having his murder chain attack weekend. Okay, yeah, so he was a little bit overpowered, but that's the best character design of Birdie. Now his gut is massive, and in Street Fighter V, um, all he wants to do is eat food, he's eating in every fucking cutscene on his story mode. I even got a, if I remember right, uh, Karen is paying him with food or something. You know, he's eating burgers. I don't like what they've done to the character. Um, yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. You know what I mean? When you look how cool he looks there, you know, he's a badass in uh, the Alpha series. My favourite uh, M. Bison of all time is an Alpha. Oh, i got Rose, Goku, or which is later known as uh, Akuma. I'm sure you all know that. Dan Vicky, my guy. Oops, sorry if you heard that. Uh, one of my neighbours has got a massive fucking motorbike. He's got a Kawasaki Ninja and he's, he's fixing it out front. So he's, uh, he's turned my street into a drag strip at the moment. You know, whatever. There he is, coming back. Uh, sure the kids feel safe on the street. Uh, what else have we got, guys? All oh, right, here's, yeah, previews, yeah, they said that at the front. Uh, an autobahn number one. Don't think I've seen this in a while. I'm going to add this to my list. It's not a holy grail or anything like that, but I really do like the look of it. You know, if you look at the, I don't know how it did, but if you have a closer look, the graphics look really good, don't they? I just got a thing about the PlayStation 1 at the moment. Between that and my Saturn, I think the value of my Saturn and PlayStation collection is probably the same as all my other games combined. 
Yeah, I do like the look of this. Didn't play it back in the day, unfortunately. Oh, I did 88. So sounds, graphic, 90 on graphics, animation, 94. Playability, 86. Yeah, I do like the look of this. It's uh, it's on the list. It's officially on the list. In fact, I thought I said burn out then. Burn in road. Um, oh, I did 90. He's enjoying it, isn't he? Simon. Go on, boy. NHL power play. Bubble Bobble, that came out ages before this, didn't it? Retro gaming has just descended into a place where nobody thought it belonged. The invest now section of your game shop. Oh, maybe it's uh maybe they were on the same disc or something, you know, you can buy it as a pack because there's no score. It's not really clear. Bubble Bobble, Rainbow Island. Yeah, I'm sure they were older games. Older on the PS1 anyway. And cheats. Oh, is that the end of the cheats? Oh, Alpha. Street Fighter Alpha. Oh, it's the Goku. How to unlock fucking Akuma or Goku. Uh, control Goku is harder than a concrete Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah, like that. Um, yeah, so that's how you unlocked him back in the day. It was a big deal. Oh, back to uh, reviews, reviews, reviews. Tunnel B scored 89. Raging Skies. Uh, oh, right, this is that 10. Complete Davis Cup tennis. Back then, though, these were, like, the impressive graphics and the, the, the animation of the characters and stuff. They kept only scored 30. Um, playability 4. 41. Graphics, I give it a 40. I remember looking at this, the back of this, and thinking, fuck, that's really good, that is. But never really getting into my tennis games. Oh, here we go. Remember that fatality? GTUX Angry. Oh, awesome. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. This had a massive, um, massive roster, this game. Oh, there. How many game characters? 32 characters. That was uh, groundbreaking back in the day. Especially uh, more combat characters, they're all, but well, most of them are very different, aren't they? Ah, love this generation of uh, fighting games. Yeah, nice. Pinball. Still going now, aren't they? Pinball games. I never actually played one. Wouldn't mind getting one. You know, just get in the mood for some fucking play some pinball. Oh, here we go. Final Fantasy Seven. Out December. Price. Import. That's a funny price. Must have been in a different currency back then called import currency. I was telling you how the... Oh, yeah, going into detail. and I funnily... This, it's mad how uh, current this magazine is with what I'm playing at the moment. Because if you didn't know, um, I have said on one of my videos... I just started playing this. I uh, had it from, for my birthday off Glitch, for the obviously the original, um, Black Spine Edition. And I downloaded it, was on a half price sale on the PS PlayStation Store. So I picked it up for like £6.49. And I started playing it only a couple of days ago, but I put it on again last night, put a couple of hours into it. Just enjoying the grind, you know, I level up my character. I think we've got both characters now up to something like 11, level 11. Um, yeah, it's going to take my time with it. It's not going to be like back then. I would have played just one game from start to finish, traded it in, got another game, played it start to finish. Obviously, you now um, I got a job with a disposable income. Um, so I like I'm doing my. I play a fighting game every single day. Uh, I'm then I'm alternating now between Final Fantasy VII and Star Wars. Uh, Lego Star Wars, the new saga on the PlayStation 5. So yeah, it's funny that this is in the magazine that I just thought we'd go through today. Yeah, so Cloudy seems pretty cool so far. This guy, I hope he's in it all the way through. I like I like him. He's like the the guy in charge or something. And so, again, I'm only early in it. She's the first character you actually see in the camera, like pans out away from her. So obviously, that's a spoiler for me, I suppose. She's in it. Um, 
she must be a main character or something but yeah i think i'm the only person in the uk that hasn't actually finished it so i'm uh, looking forward to joining the club you know the exclusive uh final fantasy 7 club oh no this this takes me back ryan giggs before he turned into a baddie Jeff Taylor, we're not going to talk about Ryan Giggs on my channel. Black Dawn. Grid Runner. Not you heard of these. Preview. There's loads of. Oh, Doom. Final Doom. I love the look of it, though. I think I've got one of the. I think I've got Doom 64 on the PlayStation Store. Again, it goes like down to like £2. You're like, yeah, fucking hell, I'll buy that. Uh, you can't go wrong with those kind of prices, can you? Soviet strike, you to that. Uh, oh, more Soviet strike. Street race. Uh, this is this is in it. Nearly every single magazine I've got retro magazine. Uh, either the adverts or the like the previews. You know, Tomb Raider. Never heard of that. Don't joke. Never heard of Tomb Raider. She'd be a good character, thinking about it, as a guest character. Has she ever made it? You know, like a um, virtual fighter, or... She'd be good in Street Fighter. I don't know if she'd fit into the Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah I think she'd be good in, like, or Tekken or something like that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get Lara Croft in a fighting game. Tear the place up, like... Oh, yes, I got that. That's one of my favourite Mortal Kombat covers. It's in like a cardboardy feel. Yeah, I'm lucky enough to have that. And I paid less than that. Cool. Uh, there we go. There's a creepy guy. I can turn that over. He's giving me the fucking creeps. Yeah, thank you for joining me while we read through Mean Machines PlayStation. Um, yeah, enjoy that. I'll probably do another one next week. I've got I bought a couple of ones. I've got um, about two or three magazines to go through. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos. Um stop talking there thank you for watching those that did watch love you long time as always love you bye